Hi guys, in this video we want to talk about the non-stress cause of cortisol. Now, if you've been watching a lot of my other videos, you know that cortisol is a stress hormone and it's triggered by stress. Uh, Imagine stress or physical stress, so mental stress or physical stress or other body stresses. But there's another cause to high cortisol that I want to talk to you about and you guessed it, it's high insulin. All right? Now, cortisol is the counter hormone to insulin. They work opposing each other in a very interesting way. The name of cortisol, which is the adrenal hormone, is uh, glucocorticoids. Gluco meaning sugar, glucose, or corticoid meaning the, the cortex or the outer part of the adrenal. So there's a inside and outside of the adrenal. On the outside, cortisol is made. So basically, one of the functions of cortisol is to um, you know, uh, control blood sugars in a certain way. The, and this is how they do it. They turn your body protein, not just your muscles, but your joints, your tendons, your ligaments, even the structures inside the cell, it starts to mobilize that and turn that into sugar as fuel because this is an emergency hormone. It's a stress hormone. It's a, all the long-term maintenance uh, type functions tend to turn off and all the quick coping emergency actions uh, are kick on. Okay, so increased blood glucose to your, um, your cells for quick energy, um, mental acuity, very sharp thinking. You know, but of course, over time, it's going to go the opposite because you're going to end up with diabetes and your brain fog. But the point is that this hormone turns protein, your own body, into sugar. And it also, it helps you absorb sugar. So it forces the glucose in the cell. It basically bypasses something called insulin resistance. Insulin resistance, did a lot of videos on that. You've probably seen many, but I just want to kind of give you another angle. If you've never seen this, you, I'll put some links down below on what insulin resistance is. But basically, insulin resistance is a problem in the receptor to insulin. Your receptors are not receiving insulin anymore. So because too much insulin is toxic to the body, and we don't need a lot, uh, your body will start to block it from going in, okay? It's just a survival mechanism. So you eat a lot of sugar, you eat too frequently, you eat the wrong foods, MSG, and you spike all this insulin, right? And then your body rejects it. Now what happens is if it's rejected, the cells start to close down and uh, it doesn't absorb insulin anymore. So it's kind of a protective mechanism. So you never get the feedback loop to the pancreas so there's no off switch. So the pancreas senses, uh-oh, the cells have low insulin, we better produce more. So it produces five to seven times more insulin than a normal healthy person. So here you have the situation, we have massive amounts of unavailable insulin because it's unavailable to the cells. The cells are starving of glucose and sugar and insulin but you have all this excess insulin just pumping on everywhere else and you have all these side effects. I mean, high cholesterol, belly fat, and a bunch of other problems. But inside the cell, there's a, there's a problem. So cortisol is then triggered to compensate to force the sugar into the cell as an emergency type thing. So you get this higher level of cortisol that, and that gives you other bad effects like uh, destruction of protein. Like it goes after your quadriceps, your muscles and your thighs start going away, your butt, you lose your butt. So now you don't have, uh, uh, your legs are skinny, no butt, and all gut. So in, in the other videos, I talk about all the things that you have to do to avoid stress, to uh, get this cortisol down so you can be healthy and get your lean body mass and prevent atrophy of the muscles. But you might not want to overlook this insulin resistance uh, problem. You must lower insulin to decrease the need for insulin to then decrease cortisol, all right? So I'll put some links below if you wanna know what to do, but I just wanted to make that point. Thanks for watching. Uh, how about, um, I'm not sure. Just press it. Okay, that sounded crappy. Press the subscribe. Why can I say subscribe? Subscribe. Press. Hey, thanks for so much. Press the subscribe button. Now I forgot what to say. I will see you in the next videos, press the subscribe button and I will keep you updated on the future events.